Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we'll be doing a, another review video on, it's yet again, another Easy Shoot product. And what this is, this is like a, well, it's a tripod, but as you can see, what you do with it is uh, it steadies your rifle. Um, this is real handy if you hunt, um, maybe in a blind, or if you're sighting in your rifle. Um, I've seen a lot of people, and I've done it myself several times, um, where you sight in your rifle, or you're hunting, and you prop up on a tree. Um, well, you always got to find the right tree at the right angle. So, that's what this is supposed to help you with. So, we'll go ahead and unbox it right here. Um, it's pretty cool. These run about $80, so they're a little um, more expensive, um, but they are very, very nice. Very good quality. They make them in different colors, too. Uh, what I've got here today is the camo. Let you guys get a close-up of it. So this is the camo. This, uh, of course, it spins 360. And then you've got, it's just like a camera tripod. It's got two different uh, leg settings. It's got these really nice, uh, sharp steel teeth. So if you're in any kind of mud or grit, it'll still bite right into them. It's got a nice soft uh, handle for carrying it. Uh, this will be very handy, especially in the winter time uh, when it's real cold. This hill here will insulate your heat from your hand where the plastic or metal will not. Um, comes with a built on little Velcro here. And what this does is it keeps it all together for you and it stays attached to one leg. So what's nice about it, it's not like a tripod where you've got, you've got the thing that slides down and catches the middle. This, you can literally spread out like that. So you can literally almost lay on the ground and use this. So we're gonna set it up and kind of just go over it, show you guys some of the features, test it out. I bring my little uh, 22 rifle with me. It's my little 22 hunting rifle. Um, we're gonna try it out and uh, we'll see how this thing looks. But as you can see, you can do all kinds of wacky stuff with it. <laughs> um, overall though, your actual pipes and stuff, they feel really good quality. Um, the black color is probably Honestly, it probably will hold up better than this camo. This camo is one of those that will, it'll eventually probably fade, but it won't be, if you keep it out of the sunlight, it won't be so bad, but um, it's really nice overall. Good material, good solid. It's not all, uh, it's honestly, it's a lot better quality than the tripod I'm using right now to film this video. <laughs> But anyways, guys, let's get set up and we'll see how this thing works out. All right, guys, so I've got the uh, tripod here set up um, just straight down range from uh, where we're going to set up some cans and stuff at. So this piece here does go 360, so you can set this however you want. And then if you need to adjust your angle, you don't need to move the whole tripod. You just simply twist this and it's really nice that, the, that it's a 360 because you can move at all different angles. Um, this will be really nice to have, like I said, in a hunting blind especially, because in a blind, you don't really have anything to prop your rifle on. Uh, and if you do, you'll be building something. Uh, this will help you from having to do that. And what's nice about this, once you set it up, you never know what angle a deer or a hog or something's gonna walk up on. With this, as long as you got your, your uh, got it level and everything, uh, where it's not gonna tip or nothing, this spins completely around and around so if something walks up behind you you can simply just go to the other side or you can however you need to do it um, for instance there's my target straight ahead if a deer walks out over here I can just simply do like that right there and then just like that I didn't have to reset up anything all I did was move the rifle and this little uh, uh, I guess you could call it similar to like a like a U shape um, But it's got a nice rubber texture on it So it won't scratch your rifle if you got a more expensive hunting rifle. This is just a little Squirrel gun basically that I brought out here today with me Because um, my actual hunting rifle Don't feel like wasting a bunch of ammo especially before uh, Hunt season rolls around this year. Um, so we're gonna set up some cans downrange and full cans uh, beer cans, actually, full beer cans, and uh, we're going to shoot them and uh, make some stuff blow up, sort of. 
All right, guys, so you can see there's some cans set up on the top of that little uh, frame there. And to your bottom right, there is a red, red looking, uh, it's a not a can of beer, it's some sort of canned wine thing. I don't know what exactly it is. Um, but also, um, so notice I've got target set up there. This will also make it more efficient as far as being able to shoot your target quicker. Um, well, multiple targets. Um, you can get on target quicker and you can hold, you know, where you're at this way a lot better. Um, so we'll start with the can on the far left and work our way right. Here we go. All right, guys, so we just finished up uh, shooting the gun a little bit. Um, I've got it sitting down to the side. I've rolled this back up so I can give you guys another close uh, overview of it. So like I said, this rubber here is a very nice, uh, good solid rubber. This will be good if you've got a more expensive hunting rifle and you don't feel like scratching the wood up on it. This will prevent that. And like I said, this flips 360. So this is great, um, especially for hunting in a blind or setting your scope in. Um, it's got really good uh, metal here and rubber and what you can do you can actually so twist all the way in you got nothing but metal and you can twist it out like that and get rid of almost all the metal and just have rubber but I'll keep it like that because that gives it a good texture but this is nice if you maybe are going to put it on the floor of your house, prop it up on a corner or something, so this isn't scratching your floor up. That's a nice uh, little twist, and I really like that this is built on it. It doesn't come off, so you don't have to worry about losing it. Um, these run about $80, I believe. I will put a link in the description if you guys are interested. Once again, a big thanks to Easy Shoot for sending this out to us. Um... We will be doing a couple of more gun reviews here in the near future. I've got the Lynx 12 we're going to do a review on. Um, I've got an Arsenal AK we're going to do a review on. Uh, we're going to do some black powder videos up here soon too. That will be probably a little later when it starts to cool off. Um, the wax, uh, what is it? Well, why did I say wax? It's not wax. It's the, uh, the lube for your bore. Um, I forget what it's called. I just got in the black powder, so give me a break. Um, so it's a uh, 1851 Navy uh, that we're gonna be doing a review on. It's uh, from uh, traditional firearms. Um, so we'll be doing a review on that here very shortly. I wanna wait till it cools down a little bit. The thing is, is that that stuff that you lube the uh, barrel with, it melts um, and it starts drooping everywhere and I just don't feel like dealing with it. Plus it's really hot and I like to make videos relatively quick and the black powder is going to be somewhat of a longer video because just loading up six shots is going to take me 10 minutes out here um <laughs> i know that sounds sad but like i said i'm just getting into it so i'm definitely making sure that i do it you know relatively right but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video be sure you check out our other videos and like subscribe thanks guys